Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem it is said that a particle travels around a circular path having radius of curvature is 50 meters, right? So we will write that the rho is equal to 50 meters and it is said that if it is initially traveling with a speed of 10 meter per second, so the initial velocity is 10 meter per second and its speeds then increase at a rate of v dot right so we are given v dot 0 0.05 and it is a function of the velocity right and as we know that since it's a curvilinear motion so v dot always equals to the tangential acceleration right the change in magnitude is always the tangential acceleration right so it is said that determine the magnitude of the particle acceleration 4 seconds later, right? So after t equals to 4 seconds, we have to find the acceleration magnitude, right? So the acceleration magnitude is, as we know, in case of curvilinear motion, it is a tangential square plus a n square, and then we will take the square root, right? So we have to find the tangential acceleration after t equals to 4 seconds and the normal acceleration after t equals to 4 seconds, right? So then we will be able to find the magnitude of the acceleration after 4 seconds. So to find the acceleration magnitude, what we need to do is that we need to find the velocity at t equals to 4 seconds since the, the tangential acceleration equation is in terms of the velocity, right? So if I write that this is, uh, we can write that this is dv by dt equals to 0 0.5. 0 0.05 into v and if i multiply both sides of the equation with dt so then we will have this equation right so since dv is here so we have to bring this velocity to this side right so we can write that this is dv divided by v into 0 0.05 dt right so then we have to integrate this so we will integrate this from the initial velocity which is 10 meter per second to the final velocity and this will be from 0 to t, right? So, 1 dv by v, so when we integrate this, so this is natural log of v, and this is from 10 to v, and this will be 0 0.05 t from 0 to t, right? So, if we put the boundary condition, so then this will be ln v minus natural log of 10, equals to 0 0.05 t minus 0 and since it's a natural log so we can write ln v minus ln 10 is v divided by 10 right and this is 0 0.05 t right and if i take both side of equation to the power of e right so this will be ln v divided by 10 e to the power 0 0.05 t right so this will be cancelled out so we can write that v divided by 10 is equal to e 0 0.05 t and if we multiply both sides of the equation with 10 so so now we have the velocity as a function of time right so v is equal to 10 this is 10 right so 10 e to the power 0 0.05 t and since we want to find the velocity at t equals to 4 seconds so velocity is equal to 10 e to the power 0 0.05 into 4 seconds so this is 10 e to the power 0 0.05 into 4 so this is 12.214 right so we can write that this is 12.214 meter per second and now once we know this velocity, we can use this equation 1, right? So v dot, or we can write the tangential acceleration, which is equal to v dot is equal to 0 0.05 into v. And v is now known at t equals to, this is at t equals to 4 seconds. So this is 0 0.05 into 12.214, right? So this will give us the tangential acceleration magnitude at t equals to 4 seconds. Right, so this is 0 0.05 into 12.214. So this is 0 0.611, right? So we can write that this is 0 0.611 meter per second square. 
and now we have to find the normal component of the acceleration so a n is equal to v square divided by rho and at t equals to 4 second velocity is again 12.214 so I will write 12.214 squared divided by 50 12.214 squared divided by 50 this is 2.984 right so I will write the this is equal to 2.984 meter per second square and now we can find the acceleration magnitude so at is 0 0.611 square plus 2.984 square zero point six one one squared plus two point nine eight four squared this is three point zero four five right or we can add three point zero four six three point zero four six meter per second square at t equals to four seconds right so this is the solution of this particular problem